Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Hit Move All Day Balance Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Hit and Move All Day Balance of Boxing Gloves. I got mine in the red and gold colorway, 16 ounces lace up. You can also get these in Velcro, uh, 14 ounces and they have multiple colorways like white and blue, blue and gold. They have a neon yellow and I believe one or two other colors. I'll put the link to the website in the description box so you can check it out there. The gloves are made of full genuine leather construction with multi-layer foam padding, what they call uh, their dark padding. The glove is designed here in the United States and is manufactured in Pakistan. Now, Hit and Move, I've had several of their products in the past. I've always been really impressed by the quality, the comfort, and the overall performance of the gloves. Um, I've done a review in the past of their balanced gloves, but one thing I like about Hit and Move and the owner, Ozzy, is that he's always evolving and trying to improve the gloves over the years. So it's not like he just comes out with one model and just kind of lets it sit and doesn't really try to improve on it. Um, so I can really appreciate the effort that he puts forward into trying to perfect his products. And the biggest thing with this balance glove um, is that this is more or less geared towards sparring. You can use this for training, of course, hitting the bags, hitting the mitts, uh, that's without question. But being a 14 and 16 ounce glove, they really wanted to dedicate this to more of a sparring glove. Um, and one of the biggest changes I noticed, aside from the padding, is going to be uh, this uh, nylon uh, waterproof style liner that does a really nice job of wicking away the sweat and the moisture rather than absorbing it. So you might have some of the other liners, the foamy Tricot style liners. From a comfort perspective, I like a lot more because it's, it's smoother and your hand has that nice smooth sensation of sliding in and out of the glove. The big downside or the drawback to those types of liners is sometimes um, they are uh, they absorb too much sweat. And over time, a lot of a lot of people have the bad habit of using their gloves, including myself, and throwing it into your gym bag when you're done working out, um, and then closing the gym bag and not letting the air, the gloves air out. And that's when they come really stinky and funky because you're allowing all that bacteria from your sweat just to fester on the inside of the glove. Um, and those type of liners, those foamy type of liners, the tricot tends to absorb the sweat rather than to let it beat off and, and roll away. So that's one of the biggest features is the liner has been improved with this glove. Now, looking at it from a design standpoint, it's a very attractive looking glove. I'd say that this is more on the medium to large side. Uh, of course, this is intended to be more of a sparring glove. Um, it does have that nice red leather on here that has more of a satin finish to it. You have the standard hit and move logo in gold. On the back of the glove, a flat cuff with the weight at the very bottom, so 16 ounces uh, rotating around. You also have the hit and move logo vertically on the inside portion of the glove. It says genuine leather with the American flag uh, designed in the United States. And you also have a good amount of padding. So you have a denser EVA style padding on the exterior facing side of the glove and then nice softer type of padding on the inside. I'd say that's about an inch and maybe about a half inch of firm density padding on the inside of the wrist. And you can see how pronounced it is. You can see just right there is kind of cut and uh, all the way in that portion. And then same thing on this side, uh, you have the padding. So it gives you a good amount of, of wrist support and a nice rigid feel. You have double stitching throughout and attached thumb at the very tip of the thumb, perfect location for that. A really nice large grip bar that has the weight of the glove as well as ventilated holes on the thumb as, uh, as well as right above the grip bar on the finger uh, compartment. And you also have that hit and move logo that's branded. So it's kind of like it's embossed into the leather, which is a really nice feature with the gold. I can definitely appreciate that. And I, I like the, the, the branding, it's not, you know, it doesn't look like a bunch of logos threw up on the glove. They just put the logo on the back, one on the thumb, you know, shows that it's designed in the United States and keeps it really nice and clean. So I definitely like the aesthetics of the glove. Uh, Quality-wise, the gloves are top-notch. Um, to be honest with you, I, I 
don't think I've ever had a hit and move product that wasn't a good quality product, to be honest with you. You know, the, the stitching is on point. Uh, the weight, I believe, is at 15.9, uh, 16 ounces. So it's exactly on point with the weight. You can see the distribution of weight is really nice. You can hold the very, very back of the glove and you don't have any sag whatsoever. So I'm literally grabbing just the very back with my fingers. And you can see that the glove doesn't have any sag whatsoever. So distribution is done nicely. You can see the stitching is done very well. The leather is held up nicely. I've had these gloves for I think about two months now, I wanna say, and I've been using these in my rotation. And uh, stitching looks good. Looks good. If you wanted to be a real, if you really wanted to be like critical, I guess you can say like right here, you can see the stitching kind of slopes downwards rather than coming straight across in the middle. So if you do it on this side, you can see it's more even. So for the sake of being complete cr critical of it, you can see that it has kind of a slope. It doesn't affect anything, but it would have been nice if it just went straight across rather than having that slope. Stitching was good on the palm side. I do like the red laces, the round laces as well uh, with the plastic tips. The one thing I like about the round laces, I guess there's a pro and a con to round laces. The one thing I about, like about round laces is that they're typically easier to um, uh, unlace to remove. The bad thing is sometimes they can break loose compared to the flat ribbon laces, which lock in typically a little bit tighter, but those are a little bit more difficult to remove. So just pros and cons to both. We have those nice long laces there. You can see the double stitching looks good. Um, so no complaints in terms of quality of the liner is done nicely as well. And you also have that hit and move logo on the inside liner. There's a tag on the inside that shows just kind of like a warning label, genuine leather. And that's pretty much it. All right, sliding my hand into the glove to see how comfortable they are. So right off the bat, when you first get these gloves, there's gonna be a little bit of a break-in period in terms of just the stiffness of the, of the foam. Um, the positioning of the thumb is perfect. They, they've always done a really good job of making that thumb nice and pulled in. So the, the, the actual positioning of it's perfect. Same thing with the length and the depth of the thumb. You can see if I make a fist, it doesn't pull down on a tip, so my, my thumb doesn't jam. I can definitely feel the grip bar right there. The liner feels really good, and so does the wrist support. I like the feel of the liner. Um, the thumb liner feels good as well. The depth of the finger compartment is perfect. Has a good amount of width for a 16 ounce glove, and it's not too narrow. I don't feel like my fingers are too crowded. Um, if you do have larger hands, longer fingers, I think this would definitely be accommodating and will be a nice secure fit. Won't be too tight, won't be too loose. Um, and it does have a little bit of flexibility, but the more you use it, the more you'll soften up this foam padding. Uh, what it really boils down to is the more you're landing, whether it's on your sparring, a par, a sparring partner's face, whether it's on a heavy bag, whatever you're doing, over time, this foam in this area will start to really soften up and that's what's gonna give you that flexibility in, in being able to open and close your hands and really soften that up. Uh, but overall, the comfort on these is very comfortable. I personally prefer that smoother tricot liner, but I can definitely see the benefit of having this nylon liner uh, in terms of wicking away moisture and not being as funky as a uh, foam style liner that soaks up sweat. Protection and performance, this glove is called the balance model. It's definitely a balanced glove. Perfect for sparring. Good for bag work. You, you don't get the same pop and feedback that you would with a, you know, a Mexican style glove that has softer foam or the knuckles. That's a little bit more of a puncher style glove. Um, but you did get, you know, you still get a decent amount of feedback with these. Decent amount of pop as well, but definitely more geared towards sparring and a solid glove for the mitts and the bags. I personally like a little bit more compact gloves uh, for bag work, uh, a little bit softer so I can really feel uh, my knuckles sink in. But again, that's to each their own, really it's subjective. You know, some people want a lot more protection, more shock absorption. They really wanna be able to not feel their knuckles sink in and some people don't like that. Some people want that feedback. So it's really up to you guys, but I say that these are right in the middle. They're very well balanced in terms of shock absorption, protection, and a good amount of feedback as well. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves, depending on the color you get, um, start at $239 and go all the way up to $289. Now, that is a pretty significant jump in pricing. Um, I still think that 
I would like to see this to be more of a sub $200 glove. Um, you know, like 180, 190 is probably the highest I would want to pay. Um, just because, again, there's so many gloves on the market now that are this whole segment of boxing gloves is very competitive. I mean, you have obviously you have, you have the the mainstays in the boxing community, the, the rivals, the winnings, the Reyes. Um, you know, but I feel like a lot of other companies, MK1. Um, obviously, Sabas has been for you, around for years now. Uh, you have Phenom Boxing. There's so many other brands out there that are really stepping it up as well that the, the price points are being much more competitive as well. So, you know, if you're talking about someone getting their first pair of boxing gloves and wanting to spend a decent amount of money, not winning money, like not three to four hundred dollars, but if they're looking at these gloves and they compare it to like the MK1s or the Sabas, they might see very some similarities that you may not pick up on right away and they might want to save 80 to $60 and that's completely up to them. But I personally think, you know, nice quality glove, very comfortable, really good protection. But I feel like I would cap this glove off in my personal opinion at around like 180, 190. Once you get to that 239, 289 is almost like $300. Then you're kind of looking at jumping into the next category of like winnings and some guys will even go for grants um, and just kind of that higher end uh, I want you to say, say higher end, that's probably the bad word to use for it. just the, the, the brands that are more well established that have that long standing reputation and that price point. A lot of people would rather pay for that. So I think if they can get it up under $200, this would be a great glove in that range that can compete with some of the best gloves out there. So um, that's my thoughts on the cost. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these hit and move all day balanced boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.